Hello, everybody. My name is Roots, and I'm here with my partner for today. Yep, this is Inner Princess, or Nick, if you prefer. And we're here commentating our very first time, and what we have here is a real-life game between Alex, Alex TT, and Emart. And as you can see, Emart is the one closer to us, and Alex in the far, on the far side. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see how this compares to the VR version of the game. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of interested already to see the footwork because that's something you never see in VR. Yes. Yeah, they've got a lot more space here. This is quite a quite a generous amount of play space for a table tennis match. Yeah. Um and most people in VR are much more limited than this. Yeah, very much so. It's a shame, but it's it's true for almost everyone. Yeah, and it's part of the game. So uh, as we're seeing early on, um, Alex is a big attacker, left-handed, uh, big forehand. Emart prefers to block, so she, in theory, shouldn't be too affected by the VR play space. Yeah, so that's true. So let's see how that translates. Mm -hmm. They're doing really it, well. It does look like she's, she's trying to come in with some attacks early on. Um, if you are a blocker, you've got this choice of either trying to win the points by keeping the ball in play and letting the opponent make mistakes or whether yeah. you're going to try and find the opportunity to come in. Yeah, or especially if you try to, to push them a little bit earlier before they even get to attacking. Yes. So a small mistake there from Imar, possibly because she's worried about giving Alex the freedom to come in with the first attack. Yep, this time she got it right. There. Yeah, forcing that footwork where he's trying to play that forehand from his backhand side. Mm -hmm. If she keeps him tight, he will make the mistake. Uh, if that would have worked, he would have had a hard time to get that back. That's a shame. Yeah, she does look like she's targeting the backhand side, which is a smart move. Yeah. Oh. Especially with a, with a good forehand like Alex's, it's a yes. good idea to get it, you know... <laughs> Onto the body, onto the backhand side repeatedly. Yeah. So he has to run around, either run around and still try the forehand or get the backhand done. Yeah. Yeah, there was a good exchange just before that point. Alex managed to get in. Um, Imart tried to force him down the forehand side to catch him off guard. Once he got the first one in, she backed off from the table and, and that gave him the time to come in with the attacks and that's where he's going to be stronger for sure. Yeah. But still, it was a... Relatively clear victory, but I think Emart was also maybe a little bit nervous to play against Alex. I don't know. Level-wise, uh, do you know? They both play in real how... life, obviously. But Yeah, I don't know how their, their real levels compare. Um, both are ranked very high in 11, um, but what level of kind of uh, national or international experience they've both got, I don't know how that compares directly. Okay. Well, we can find out later and put it into the comments. Absolutely. And now we're not going to understand what they're saying, but we can just make it up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something wrong with Alex's forehand that he's not happy with. Kind of what it looks like. Do you see that Emart's getting pushed back a little bit from the table? Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's not confident in the blocks or whether Alex is just attacking very precisely. It's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Once that forehand comes in, he's really got the choice of both wide angles. He knows that putting it in the center is going to feed into her blocking style, so yeah. he's working the angles well. Very good there from, from Emart. Because she's on the table and she's attacking straight off the bounce, she just takes away any time that Alex has. Yep. She's not giving him much time to think. If if she no. can if she can keep that up, then he's gonna have he's gonna have a hard time. And I think the strategy here, a player like Alex who's looking for that third ball attack on his serve, if she pushes the return, he's got the time to set up the, the attack like that and he's just gonna pick his spot on the table. So what she needs to do is try to come in with any kind of attack um, just to get him slightly on the back foot and then get into her rhythm. Exactly like that. You yep. see, now we're into a rally and she's trying to control things. 
she's still having trouble with getting getting him on the wrong foot. Yes. Yeah. He knows what he needs to do when she comes into the rally, which is to just keep the ball in play, um, not give her an opportunity to outright attack, and then it's just rally setting until he knows he can build a big attack back into her. So that serve and third ball attack is something we're going to see a lot. It's his serve is, is tricky to read, especially in real life, where you know the change of angle and spin is is much more than it is in VR at the moment. Yeah, if she doesn't read it right. He's just going to come in with a big hit. It needs to be her first return needs to be as aggressive as she can get it, just so to avoid his his uh, brilliant third strikes. Yes. This is good. That's good from, from Emart. She kept it, kept it under control. She never really looks to kind of muller the ball past him. She's just trying to keep it in play and keep the angles being worked. Unlucky. Yeah. Well, we understood that. <laughs> we certainly understood that one. There she is again, pushing nicely, yeah. and it works. Interestingly, she's taking that side spin serve, which is spinning the ball over towards her forehand side. But when the ball's in her hip, she seems to prefer to attack the first shot with her back end. Uh, so it's that punch there that we see. Maybe she feels she can control the direction of that one a bit more, and mm -hmm. setting up the direction of the play is, is her strategy for the rally. It's interesting to see most players, especially Alex, you'll see running around the forehand side for that first attack. I wish I could play like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's good defensive work from Alex, and, yeah. and that's the match. That's the match. And now, here we are in VR. So we've got the, the orientation the same, so we've got uh, Emart on the far side of the table. Alex, we can see closer to us. Yeah. I hope he did this for our sake. <laughs> <laughs> so again that backhand nice. punch looks very familiar um, it's a shot I do the same thing it translates very well to VR um, you can't hit flat shots as fast in VR as you can in real life but the direction of it and the consistency seems to translate well yeah and they're, if I see it right they're both on the on the new quest so fair yes. tracking too So you can see Alex is tying Emart up into that hip area, forcing her to move. Mm -hmm. Something I was seeing in the real life version, the footwork doesn't seem to be as quick and as natural. Um, as yeah. a blocker, you're not, not used to running around things as much, so you can get away with that kind of lazy movement. But when she needs to attack, if she doesn't move the feet, she gets tied up. Yeah, she, she almost, it almost looks like um, she's standing a little bit too high up, if you know what I mean. Yes. A Alex has, usually has a very uh, <clears throat> a wi a wide stance. Yes. And he might not so much. Still still way better than, than most other players, but Yes. There is definitely a little bit of a difference. If anything, I'd say Emart looks a little more comfortable in this environment. I don't know whether it's the slightly reduced effect of spin in eleven versus real life. Yeah. Um, you know, the subtleties of spin in real life are, are really extreme on, on modern rubbers. Mm -hmm. um, but she looks to have got into a very good rhythm. It could just be that in VR, you know, you can practice as much as you want during the day as well. And it is a little bit it is a little bit easier in VR to get a you know a, a great shot in. At least that's yeah. what I what I always uh, thought. Yeah, for a blocker for sure. Mm. It's improved my blocking a lot. It's it's strange because you you're obviously a, a club player, and I'm I'm not I'm not really, but I've I've been I've been noticing the changes in in my game as well, just from playing with, with you people, <laughs> with the pros, us, us real folk, yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but as as someone who's played a lot in real life, um, you can see 
that the VR game allows you, as you see from Alex, his game is, is relatively unchanged. It allows you to play your real game very mm -hmm. well. Um, and, and we're seeing that actually with these two players, the matchup that we're watching is very similar to the real life version. Yeah, yeah, I was um, about to say, it's not, it's not, it's not that different. No. no A little the, bit less serves, movement maybe, but that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so these serves inside from Alex, he's not attacking the third ball as much as he was in real life. I don't know if, I mean, I'm a bit hesitant to move as quickly in my living room as I am in a, in a club environment. I don't know for sure if there's a wall, you know, not too far away from me. That might be the case with Alex, yeah. or it might be that he doesn't feel the serves are having as much of an effect. connected to my headset, so it floated around with me. Hey, quiet. I, I have to uh, close the... <laughs> We do the talking. Yeah, we do the playing. <laughs> we're getting. We're not getting paid for this. I was about to say we're getting paid for this, but we're not. <laughs> but yeah, obviously, in, in the VR environment, everyone. Well, most of us play in the living room. You can't really do the same motions and movements. Yeah, yeah. I, I sometimes do, and that's when when I fall on my butt. <laughs> yes, yeah. I've hit. Uh, I've hit lampshades. I've hit walls. I've hit the cat. Um, you don't want to be moving as quickly, as confidently as you would in real life. <laughs> yeah. First few games is usually just, okay, this lamp has to move. <laughs> yes. So, again, that's an advantage go. to a player like Imar. She doesn't occupy a lot of playing space as we've seen in real life. So, translating that to 11, she's comfortable. Stay up to the table. Don't move around the backhand side to play a forehand or vice versa too much. Yeah. And you know your position, you know your safe zone. Kind of forcing the player to play onto you instead of the angles. Yes. It's the same now with we are, I think. Uh, yeah. He plays with very little movement, but oh so efficient. Yes, yeah. Uh, see, now it's Imar taking the first set. Yeah, I, I wonder if um, Alex is a very forehand dominant attacker. You know, mm -hmm. we saw that in the real life. If he's got an opportunity to move around the backhand to play a big forehand, he'll do that. Um, and I find of the two wings, although the tracking is hugely better on the Quest 2 than it was for me on the Quest 1, of the two wings, the forehand is very slightly weaker on tracking still than the backhand. So okay, that's I, good to I don't know. know how much that affects him. You can see here he's feeding the backhand quite confidently, mm. but he's, he's not hitting these big forehands in the same way. Yeah, but on the other hand, his forehands in real life are so brutal that even the best tracking might have trouble keeping up. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's not a slight on the game at all. Um, maybe he just has to modify his shot to be... I know he plays quite a spinny loop when he plays against me, whereas in real life we saw a much more driven loop. Um, and that might just be the limitations of the tracking at this point. Mm -hmm. It's going to get better. I hope it, yes. it it gets better on the, on the other headsets as well, because I'm a little yeah, bit miffed sure. about that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're seeing that Imad is coming in quite confidently with these these third ball punching attacks. Yes. Um, Alex was in the real life version backing off from the table and just feeding back into the rally. Um, here, maybe he's forced by his play space to stay up, uh, but he doesn't seem to get into the rally early enough to start controlling the angles. Yeah, and Imad, Imad's play seems to be a little bit more uh, out for, for control than it was in the real life match. Yes, yeah, maybe that first first game worried her a little bit, you know, where the nerves looked like they were setting in. True. Um, perhaps she thought she needed to attack harder. Great forehand there down the line. That's great, yeah. And this time it's Alex who looks like he's uh, perhaps slightly choking on these returns, like he has to attack a bit more. If Imar puts the pressure on, he knows he needs to come in early on, and that's where the mistakes can come. Uh, but there, he he got one of the forehands in. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll change up the match a bit. Ew, yeah. Yeah, he, he's found his rhythm. Again, it's these serve returns. Trying to keep everything so tight, you will end up making mistakes. And when she's given this opportunity to come in, she did come in well. That said, he got into the rally and he started to control it a bit more. Oh, great rally there. Yeah, a great push. Okay, it looks like he's found his rhythm and we're starting to see very similar rallies to the real life version. He is backing off a little bit. We can get a sense of his play space now. <clears throat> a little bit of luck as well. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that great was shot. a great angle. Great shot. 
He uh, he fed the middle of the table a bit too much there and uh, gave her too much time. She's not going to think about that twice. Ah, damn it. <laughs> no. Some good movement for the forehand there from Emart. Yeah, great attacks. Yeah, it looks to be the first person to get in with the attack is winning the point more often here. That's what it looks so, like. Yeah, they're both definitely going to be looking to try and get in on that. <clears throat> good serve from Alex. Yeah, you can see him getting a little bit more into it. It's a lot closer yes. than it was in the first few sets. Yeah. Oh, she backed off a little bit prematurely there. Oh, that oh, was well, well shot. deserved. Yeah. As a blocker, changing the pace is one of your big tactics. So just as it looked like they got into a rhythm, she, she upped the pace and, and it went straight past him. Yeah. Even though it looked it looked it looked a bit after the after the netball that uh, it was a done deal, yes. And then it looked like Alex would come back, and then he didn't. <laughs> so very yes. well done from yeah. her. But the momentum definitely a little bit more on Alex's side right now. Yes. Oh. Now it's Alex who's staying up and he's forcing Emart back from the table and she's not comfortable there. And although it's not his typical game, he oh, knows he's in control at that yes. point. Yes, sorry. Yeah, very interestingly, it's Emart that was looking to attack early and it's Alex that's looking to get the block in. So forcing the other player out of their comfort zone. Exact opposite of the real life version. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Great consistent attacking, but uh, wasn't getting through Alex at that point. Though. No. She picked a bad spot to put the last one. That was right, yes. right, right there is not a good spot to put yeah. it against Alex. Yeah, she was targeting the backhand a lot more in, in real life. Um, and she's fed a few too many down to the forehand side for Alex now. Mm -hmm. um, and he's not always going to attack, but there's always the possibility of it. So perhaps she needs to be looking to target that hip and move it around to the backhand again. Yeah. But that's exactly what Alex is is trying some of the times to to give her the body shots, where, so she doesn't know for, yes. forehand or backhand, and then she's there's just this millisecond of delay in your in your yes. thinking, and then you're already done. Yeah. So we've seen now for a few points in a row, and still here she's targeting that backhand, and it's working for her. Yep, yeah, that's I think three in a row now. Good work, but uh, she went to the forehand and, and didn't hit a wide enough angle and gave him the control again. Oh, good footwork. It was in the hip, but it was too slow. So you can see when she's hitting that backhand, she's almost got a, a line of sight to his hip to try and push him into a, a space where he's not comfortable. But if it is too slow, he's going to move around and, and yeah. kill it. He's quick. He's he's quick enough to just step around it if it's yes. if it's not the right pace. Yeah. But again, now she's worked the backhand area long enough. The odd ball down the forehand that he's not expecting is catching me off guard. You know, the weight is set for moving the other way. Good attacking there from Emart. And great recovery. Effect. Yeah, she was getting moved around, but uh, got back to a point where she was comfortable and killed it. Brilliant third ball attack from Alex. And again, she's she's fed that return straight to his forehand two in a row, and you can't afford to do that. Not unless you know you can get it back. Yeah, that's not a not a given in uh, any games against him. Yes, and when you're returning serves, you've got to think, especially with a. a 
high level real life player their strategy when serving is to set up their what we call the third ball attack so mm -hmm. the serve is the first second shot is from the returner the third ball is where you open up the attacking strategy mm. so if he's serving like that and his hope is to get a forehand and you push it out to his forehand twice in a row you're feeding exactly into what he wants so mm -hmm. there we go he's, he's forced there we go. the error that's it yeah <laughs> No costaba tanto entrar en el juego, así que imposible al principio. Eh, he vuelto a la... la ay, quizás lo has notado. He vuelto a la pala de... Ay, no, Obviously, no. that's a very, very <laughs> nice <laughs> Spanish paella recipe Porque they're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, did you want to translate that or do you want me to...? <laughs> no, 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 I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm sure the listeners get it. Yeah, <clears> my yeah. Spanish is impeccable. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> Well played, well played from both. Yeah. I still think Imart e e e did a did a oopsa. This is not going to happen, but we can keep talking. Alex said. Yeah. Um, so Imart, e I feel a little bit more comfortable in in VR in the in the in the yes. virtual play space. Yeah, I agree. Than than Alex. Might be yeah. might be room restrictions from Alex, but I don't really think so. It's just a a comfortability issue, I think. Yeah, yeah, and I think there's maybe a mental aspect for for everyone. It certainly happens to me, and I think you could see it there with Alex that there's something about playing in the comfort of the of your own home that doesn't engage full movement speed. You know, so if your game is reliant on you serving and then looking for a forehand anywhere on the table, yeah. Um, you might not be as inclined to just start hopping around everywhere to play that. So yeah. he's got to modify his game. Um, and it was interesting to Maybe, see that yeah. Yeah, they had to find a way to get back to a point where they're comfortable, but Emart is definitely not very far away from that at the start. No, not at all. Not at all. All right. This was a great match, man. I, th I yeah. thank, thank you for joining me. The, yes. uh, how, do you, how do you say? Esteemed commentator. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pleasure. And um, I, I, I hope we can, can do a few more in the future. This was absolutely. Great. Yeah, All thanks right. for joining us. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, we will see you around in, yeah. in the virtual space that we all love. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.